the dream catcher. As soon as I walked away from the polling station, I began to question what I'd done. I'd just put my cross next to the candidate from the Independence Party, the right-wing group who wants the UK out of Europe, the group whose leader says he doesn't want to live next door to Romanians or hear foreign languages on public transport. I just voted for the type of right-wing thuggery I despised all my life, the Bigotry and Hatred Party. And this wasn't just a protest vote. It was more than that. I believe in what they're saying. I do believe there are too many immigrants coming to the UK. That those Eastern Europeans are coming over here and stealing our jobs. As I walked to the pub, I reflected on this. How had I drifted from red to blue? Where had my radical socialist former self disappeared? How had it come to this? I couldn't quite put my finger on when this change occurred. I mean, it was only six months ago that I was throwing a tissue box at my television in disgust at some right-winger talking about immigration. So somehow, somewhere, in the last six months, my politics had completely flipped around. Jace was already in the pub and had bought me a pint of Guinness. We clinked glasses and I took two healthy mouthfuls. Just what I needed after a long week. A beer and a chat with an old friend. Of course, I didn't tell him how I'd voted. I was too embarrassed for that. I might be becoming an old bigot on the inside, but I'd never tell my friends I grew up with. Instead, we talked rugby, women and apps. Hey, have you used that Dreamcatcher app? I asked. What's that? He said. It's an app that you set when you go to bed and it's supposed to influence your dreams. Somehow it senses when you're about to go into dream mode and plays ambient music or something to encourage you to dream in a certain way. I showed him the app on my phone. Get out of here. That can't work. What a load of nonsense, he said. No, seriously, download it. It's great. I've been using it for about six months. Brilliant it is. I've been, I've been having the weirdest, wackiest dreams. I don't know how it works, but it does. Nah, sorry, I just can't see it. Well, lots of people would disagree with you. It's the third most popular app in the UK. Jace put my phone back on the table. Try it, I said. But I could see from the look on his face he never would. How do I know it's not feeding me some adverts or something? Don't be daft, I said. You're always looking for a conspiracy. Jace smiled and we changed the subject. I didn't care what Jace said. He was always negative, a real non-believer. But I liked my Dreamcatcher app, and I set it up as I climbed into bed that night, knowing that the app, combined with alcohol, made the dreams even better. But that night, something strange happened. I was back in the pub with Jace. Our conversation went back and forth, but it was the same two lines over and over again. Six months I've been using it. How do you know it's not feeding you some adverts or something? Six months I've been using it. How do you know it's not feeding you some adverts or something? Six months I've been using it. How do you know it's not feeding you some adverts or something? But then Jace changed. It was still his clothes, his body, but his face had morphed into that of the leader of the Independence Party that I'd voted for earlier in the day. Six months I've been using it, I said. They're coming over here stealing our jobs. Six months I've been using it. They're coming over here stealing our jobs. I woke myself up. Was there a voice in the room? They're coming over here, stealing our jobs. It wasn't Jace's voice or the leader of the party. It was coming from my phone. Six months I've been using it. Six months of subconscious propaganda from the third most popular app in the UK. No wonder the Independence Party had just swept the Euro elections.